Today I'm filming the 2021 AMG GLE 53. Looking at this polar white exterior color with the aluminum and the black accents here. These headlights are going to be full LED with an LED turn signal, with an LED daytime running light, with an automatic low and high beam. Looking at this Panamera uh, AMG style grille here with the vertical slats, with the three pointed Mercedes emblem with a front facing camera. This vehicle screams aggressive uh, exterior design. Honestly, this vehicle looks sleek and aggressive as well. Honestly, that X6 that I reviewed maybe a month or two ago, I think the GLE does look a little bit better compared to that BMW. But looking here on the hood of the GLE, this has the company's three liter inline six. It makes 429 horsepower, 384 foot pounds of torque. It's paired with a nine speed speed shift dual clutch transmission. This also has the EQ Goose, which makes 21 horsepower alone and 184 foot pounds of torque when the engine is basically at its lowest speed i guess to help with the lag honestly is what, that's what i'm assuming and this can tow around 3800 pounds so you can definitely tow a small jet ski or maybe a small uh mid-sized boat but overall this vehicle looks very aggressive but let's look at the side proportions of the amg gle 53 coupe looking at the side proportions of the gle starting with these tires and wheels these are a 275 45 with tire they're wrapped in a 21 inch rim design these are stagger wheels you get three 315s in the rear. I like the uh, finish here with the multi-spoke, the five-spoke finish here with the aluminum and uh, silver finish here. These dr these uh, rotors are cross-drill and ventilated. You do get the AMG style brakes here, a, a badge here on the uh, side fender, which is a turbo for Matic all-wheel drive system. Basically, it's Mercedes all-wheel drive system. So they put that badge in here on the side fender. The side steps, honestly, I would just check them off the uh, options board because there are additional charge. And honestly, this car doesn't really need steps to get inside because it sits lower to the ground. You can raise and lower this vehicle as well. A LED side, mar LED side marker here on your mirror caps, a standard sunroof, and this coupe-like roof design here. Your wheelbase is 117 with an overall level of 194.4. But let's look at the rear of the GLE. The rear of the GLE, starting with these tail lights. These are a full LED design. I like the tail light housing design as well. LED brake light, LED reverse light, and LED turn signal. There's this rear spoiler back here with some badging, which is your GL, which is your GL or three points to star emblem here in your AMG badge as well. Looking at the lower part of your bumper, there is uh, some rear parking sensors back here, a standard backup camera, your tow hitch receiver, which can tow around 3,800 pounds with quad exhaust. I'm gonna guys what the AMG performance exhaust sound like really quick. guys heard or that thing with the sport plus mode and with the baffles open this exhaust sounds pretty damn good and oh my god the burbles and cracks but let's look into the actual cargo back here if you have the key fob in your purse in your pocket you can kick your foot under here and that will open and there's this like nice little chime that you can hear when the when this opening uh with all the seats folded up mercedes says you get around 33.3 cubic feet of space and when you fold everything down you get around 74.9 cubic feet of space and also you can press this little toggle switch here and the vehicle will lower itself. So you had some groceries in your hand or, or anything like that, the vehicle will basically lower itself so you can put it in there easily. And when you open up this load floor here, you do get a spare tire instead of a fix a fat kit. At the exterior of the GLE 53, this polar white exterior color with the aluminum and accents here makes this car look very aggressive with this low stance and an aggressive front fascia here. But walking up to the GLE 53, as you can see, the mirrors are power folded in because the door is locked to lock it. I'll show you guys right here. Press a little ridge portion there to lock it, to unlock it. Mercedes does a sensor behind the door. Open up the interior here. My Tesla has the black and gray interior. You can get a different uh, color trim if you would like, but my Tesla just has the black and gray finish here. Looking here, over part of your 
window uh, here there is this nice leatherette material with the gray stitching here three person memory seats heated and cool so you can turn on turn them both on which is metal speaker cover here with the burmester sound system it's a real aluminum uh, door handle here the window switches here have a nice high quality switch to them which sounds very premium the then the controls here are for your wind, uh, mirrors to basically power fold them in or out your trunk release is going to be uh, tucked away down here with additional storage i'm surprised to see there's no lumbar support on this particular trim here your uh, electronic parking brake here your headlight controls fixtures are here this is a power tilt telescoping amg uh steering wheel here we're getting inside and I was, almost forgot to mention my tester has these skinny little uh, running boards here which honestly I would just check off my options this because they're very small and closing the door here and another thing to sadly say is my tester doesn't have the soft closed door uh, function here but to start up the GLE 53 just put your foot on the brake and press the start stop button down here as you can see my tester has the two 12.3 uh mercedes head units here which are clear they have nice resolution to them nice crystal look to them as you can see these gauges here you to change these gauges you can just rub your finger across this i notice when your hands are a little sweaty it's kind of hard to to uh, navigate but you can just rub your finger against this little portion here you have your assistance phone navigation performance trip radio media and your uh, gauges here which is your display you can put it in the sport honestly I like the sport and all the Mercedes lines up here as you can see it gives you this bright yellow with some red uh, accents here as well we get back out of that as well you can go here to your navigation your navigation will show up just like in the Audi uh, virtual cockpit display as well you can get back out of that if you like go to your performance here it shows you your boost scroll down show you more your boost in horsepower your mechanical your base your comfort and your balance which is the baffle exhaust even your g4 so this thing is a serious performance suv your wind wiper stocks are here your transmission selector which is here you can push up for reverse and you can see mercedes that's the best uh, backup camera in the industry it's usually a top down 360 view which is here different camera modes you can go through from the front facing camera like i mentioned in the beginning of this video the side views here you can see just in case you were close by a curve and you want to scrape your uh, wheels which are optional and you can click down for drive here you do have paddle shifters real metal paddle shifters. they actually connect it to the steering wheel instead of the column and you can just click that p for park here down here you have a manual mode which is for comfort you can click that you can open up the baffles exhaust and comfort as well you can al always open the baffle exhaust no matter what um, drive mode that you're actually in adaptive cruise control which is here you have your voice commands which are here you can uh, cycle through your radio presets through here go back pretty quick as you can see and this does let you have the um, function of touching it instead of that AMG 53 that I reviewed that it didn't have the MBX uh, system that Mercedes offers so this one actually has it like I can say hey Mercedes show me to the show me to this the nearest gas station and she would basically what do you want to do? show me give me directions to the nearest gas station once you give her a command, she would definitely show you. And this does have the augmented uh, reality video. So basically, it was going to project the, the screen, the street or whatever part of the country you're in is going to show the road. As for example, if I click here really quick and I just go there, it's going to show you the street and the, the address. And also, it shows up here and the um, info in the cluster here as well. Again, this is the Mercedes. I hit you in here. It's very snappy. But going back to home here. Hey Mercedes, cancel navigation. Stopping route guidance. If anything you ask her to do, she would do it. Found the closest hotel, the closest gas station, etc. She would definitely do it. But looking here, we're gonna swipe swipe down here. You have different uh, themes here. You have adventure, trip, lounge, standard. You can also create a theme if you like. But going down here for energizing, it's for the massage seats. The seats in here are very comfortable mind you i was getting a massage you can do a heat relaxing back and you feel the bolsters and you feel all that and you can go back here really quick and scroll down you can go to seat comfort you can do lumbar you can do side bolsters you can tighten them up if you would like make an aggressively bolstered heated balance but i'm going to turn this off because it's already hot outside <laughs> you can stop it like that the ambient lighting in here Mercedes offers this in 64 different colors and it's bright. Like I mentioned before in my other videos, 
whatever color you like, like a like a red. As you can see, it will change it, it but on the camera, it, it's not gonna really pick it up. But yeah, that's what it does uh, with this system. Like I mentioned, Mercedes offers 60, 64 different colors. So this thing is full of tech. Um, it does have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, which is standard. But this thing is fully loaded. You can go here to your performance. Like I mentioned, just in the cluster here is gonna basically be performed here. If I put my foot on the brake really hard, it's, just so, it's gonna show you 100% of the brake. It's gonna show you where the, where the flow of the brake is going. The engine here. It shows you the temperature cooling in XYZ, your dynamic selector here, individual. You can set this thing up however you would like. Like, the, like I mentioned, this is a straight performance uh, vehicle. And honestly, I could spend a whole day talking about the MBX. Up part of your dashboard is a nice leather material, which is a, a part of an option, believe it or not. Mercedes actually charged you for this leather app, uh, dashboard, which is very soft and nice, high quality materials. This aluminum like trim here, aluminum trim. The dual climate controls have these nice toggle switches. So you guys can hear a nice satisfying click. Open up this uh, center stack here. There is a wireless charging pad, a USB-C, and another uh, port here for your uh, USB uh, connection as well. Two cup holders in. You also have heated and uh, cool cup holders here, which is $180, believe it or not. I'm surprised Mercedes didn't make that standard. Open up this uh, glove box here. It's damp, fine with help. And unfortunately, my tester doesn't actually have the the airizer in here that the, i think the dealership took it out but it will give like this nice uh whoosh of a uh, nice fragrance in here these seats like i mentioned they're aggressively bolstered they hold you in place they're the amg seats with the uh, suede alcantara with the black or black and gray stitching in here and like i mentioned you can get a massage so right now i'm getting a perfect massage and it feels good in here open up this sunshade here my tester does the shade up it doesn't let a, a nice additional light into that a cabin as you guys can see that roof line back there, opening uh, roof design but let's hop into the back seat of the GLE and see how those uh, seats feel back there so hopping into the back seat here of the GLE 53 just like those front seats ah, these back seats feel amazing too the materials back here we're gonna be a nice leather wrap material with the black stitching there's this Burmester sound system which is a metal speaker cover two map pockets back here with the rear air vents this nice little cubby tray here a USB C down here, two USB C's with a household outlet with this little part, this part down here you can pull out for additional storage. The floor back here is nice and it's kind of flat back here, but you can definitely fit three people across. Pulling this armrest down here, there are two cup holders. So I'm surprised to see that there's no additional storage. But let's take the GLE 53 out and see how it performs with that three liter in line six. So start off in the 2021 Mercedes-Benz AMG GLE 53. Honestly, this is my first time driving a GLE. And honestly, I'm, this vehicle is very impressive. It feels like an egg, honestly. I'm not gonna lie to you. This vehicle competes went against the BMW X6. And I drove the X6 before. Oh, man. That three liter inline six put a smile on my face. And then it sounds good, too. It's not even with the sport exhaust. Uh, ride quality feels pretty good. The handling here feels good. The steering feels very playful. You feel what the front tires are doing. Visibility in here is really good. This thick A pillar, these big side mirrors here does have bounce by monitoring. Does come with emergency braking for a cross traffic alert. Of course, it has Mercedes Benz uh, safety technology. Uh, this has the company's three liter inline six. It makes 429 horsepower, 384 pounds of torque from a nine speed speed shift dual clutch transmission designed by AMG. Uh, this does have the AMG uh, in its lineup uh, in its name, but it's not a full AMG because it's not hand built by someone in Germany. But it does have the AMG uh, like roots, so even though it's not hand, the engine's not hand built, it still does have AMG characteristics. Uh, visi visibility from the back is horrible because of this coupe like design like I mentioned in the X6 in that BMW that I reviewed a month or two ago uh, the visibility in that one was not so good at the rear because of that coupe like design but man this thing knows to handle and then it has the burbles too put my foot down
says 0 to 60 in 5.2 seconds, but I feel like the 0 to 60 is a little bit faster what they're saying on paper. But yeah, this GLE performs really good. I mentioned steering feels really good. It has a nice shift transmission. It was a good transmission designed by AMG. And then you have, hey Mercedes. How can I help? Can you give me directions to the nearest gas station? And then she's gonna tell you or show you Here, which gas station I'm you just pick. The route. What list or wherever you want to put it. In 900 feet, turn left onto Southwest 216th Street and then turn left. And my favorite thing about this augmented uh, virtual reality, so basically it shows you what's in front of you, the discrete name, now turn left and it tells you left. which direction which to go. It shows you the discrete name, the address, X, Y, Z. So that's the first for Mercedes. Mercedes was the first one to introduce that. So. Now turn left onto but sometimes when you say, hey, Mercedes, she comes on, sometimes she doesn't, but hey, Mercedes, council navigation. I'm gonna put in the Sport Plus really quick. Slight zero to 60, put my foot on the brake and accelerator. Like I mentioned, Mercedes says zero to 60 in 5.2 seconds. But I think zero to 60 is a little bit faster than what they're saying on paper. Like I mentioned, I have the nine speed dual, the nine speed speed shift transmission. Oh man, this thing is farting like crazy, all kinds of noise. Hey Mercedes. Hey Mercedes. Council. Okay. But overall, I am very impressed by the handling of this three liter inline six. Like I mentioned, I said Mercedes, I, I said BMW makes the best inline six, but I might be reconsidering that because this inline six does have a little bit more characteristic to it. It's very fast shifting, good transmission. The common numbers really quick are 18 in the city, 23 on the highway, and 20 combined. And of course, you have to put premium gas. After spending time with the 2021 Mercedes-Benz AMG GLE 53, my tester has a three liter inline six, which is a great powertrain for this vehicle. And the interior, of course, is a Mercedes. What do you guys expect? It's gonna have a bunch of technology and a bunch of luxury features. So my tester starts off at $76,500. I'm gonna read some of the options here from the Monroney. It's too many options for me to remember, honestly. And this does have the AMG black uh, Napa leather seats, the AMG performance steering wheel, the AMG five spoke wheels, the all season tires, the MB text leather wrapped dashboard and door trims. The augmented video, the AMG exhaust performance, which sounds pretty damn good. The heated and cool cup holders, the trailer hitch, the driver's assistance package, the park assistance package, the warmth and comfort package, the energized package, which rolls in the massage seats, with, which felt very amazing when I was driving this thing. Oh my God, the, the massage seats feel like a Volvo, honestly. It says the AMG night package as well, including destination. My tester stick is for $91,000. $115. I give a special thanks to Jack for providing me with the vehicle. If you guys are on the market for a GLE coupe, you guys can come to Mercedes-Benz of Cutler Bay and ask for Jack. And this is my full review on the 2021 Mercedes AMG GLE 53. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Drive One Reviews and please keep subscribing to my YouTube channel. I catch you all in the next video.